What does it feel like to take on the role and power of a tech giant? What does it feel like to have access to seemingly intimate knowledge and data of others? People you will never meet or never know. And what would you be willing to do with that data? Spectre is an interactive installation that tells a cautionary tale of technology, privacy and democracy, curated by algorithms and powered by visitors' data. Two of the main questions we wanted to explore with the Spectre project is what does it feel like when our personal data is used in unexpected ways by powerful tech companies and how as a result can that change our understandings of today? Spectre has been fabricated by an amazing company called Anki Manufacturing. Steel frame welded, powder coated and then we fitted all the technology inside. To create Spectre, we've collaborated with world-leading institutions and artificial intelligence and machine learning companies to merge the fields of the arts and sciences, to develop new ways of seeing. We wanted to begin to see the world as machines do, to explore the limits of AI, machine learning and computational forms of propaganda. Sculpturally, Spectre is influenced by conceptual artists like Sol Lewitz, by the visionary filmmaker Stanley Kubrick, by ancient religious monuments and by the physical infrastructures of the internet, the black boxes of servers that exist, but like the algorithms that they contain, are hidden from public view. Spectre is monolithic in form to reference these architectures and sites of worship, but also to reference the modern physical monuments of the smart city that are emerging, almost overnight, much like the monoliths of Kubrick's classic film 2001 Space Odyssey. In many ways, Spectre can be seen as a series of contemporary standing stones, Algorithmically defined stone circles for the 21st century that invite audiences in to pray at the altar of datarism. The reality is that so much of our lives now are ruled and governed by obscure black boxes and the technologies inside them. And in the current age of surveillance capitalism, our futures and destinies are intertwined with the technologies that underwrite and mediate most of the way that truth is created. In many ways, the price we have to pay to learn from the gods of Silicon Valley is our privacy. This has huge implications for us all as we simply can't have functioning democracies without privacy. And the levels of corporate power we're seeing now with regards to who controls our data and what happens with it will no doubt be an issue that will define the next century. Take Facebook for example. One man is majority shareholder with total controls of billions of people's stolen data. All their lives, all their secrets, all their futures. We need to ask if this is a safe place for our data to be because it's clear that whoever owns the data owns the future and we have no idea what is being done to our data and how it is being used to influence us. What does it feel like when our personal data is used in unexpected ways? In many ways the price we have to pay to learn from the gods of Silicon Valley is our privacy.